So I decided to do The Unthinkable today and take you guys through every single book on my physical TBR. And I know what you're thinking. Actually, I don't. I actually did this video about a year ago and I was able to knock off a majority of my TBR, but somewhere in between that video and now, your girl has definitely treated herself to one too many bookstore trips and somehow created the largest TBR I've ever had. I am 100% embarrassed and I'm begging you all not to judge me, but instead convince me to read these books. Grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy this crazy, crazy video I decided to film one day in July. Do you know that meme that was like super super popular on TikTok like a few months ago and it was of Will Ferrell talking about how scared he was and being like shut up <laughs> That's me right now Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray And welcome to another video I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video You guys know you read the title you saw the thumbnail I am like fully exposing myself in today's video guys I'm honestly a little bit nervous I'm a whole lot embarrassed In today's video I am going to be sharing every single book on my physical TBR This has been such a highly requested video on my channel and I have definitely shied away from it for good reason I'm sure you could already tell I wanted to be totally transparent and real with you guys when it comes to reading although I try to read a lot of books every single month I still have a lot of books on my physical TBR I feel like most of us have pretty heavy physical TBRs or just TBRs in general I wanted to be totally real and transparent with you guys today and share all the books that are on my physical TBR as you can tell we have so many books <laughs> we have so many books on my physical TBR. I have a book buying problem, I guess you could say. Obviously, over the past year, two years, that has caused this. But yeah, that's what we're doing in today's video. We're gonna go through every single book on my physical TBR. I'll also probably be completely honest with you guys when I'm sharing these books, and I'll let you know if I'm actually going to read them. There's definitely some books in here that I bought a really long time ago. I've either tried to pick them up and read them and it didn't work out, or I just know in my heart now that I probably won't read them ever. Before we hop into the video though, comment down below how many books are on your physical TBR because I'm curious. I know everybody's different. Some people have very heavy TBRs. Other people kind of just go with the flow and read what they want. And then also, if you're feeling twirly, if you're feeling fun, comment down below how many books you think are on my physical TBR. And we'll cover it at the end. We'll see how many books are actually on my physical TBR. As of right now, I have no idea. I didn't go through and count these when I was taking them off my shelves which honestly taking the books off the bookshelves I have so much anxiety right now staring at the emptiness of my bookshelves I have to go put these all back after this video we have a ton of books to tackle in today's video so without further ado let's hop into it before we hop in to my ridiculous, my very, very ridiculous physical TBR video, I just wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. You guys have probably heard me talk about BetterHelp a ton in previous videos. I am such a big advocate for mental health and taking care of yourself, so I'm super happy to be partnering with them in today's video. If you're not familiar with BetterHelp, they are the world's largest therapy service and they are offered 100% online, which I absolutely love. You can literally get help in the comfort of your your own home. Doing therapy from the comfort of my own home is so, so nice. It's so much better than having to go and sit in an unfamiliar space and talk to a stranger. I've been using BetterHelp myself for a little bit over a year and it's honestly such a game changer when it comes to taking care of yourself. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network with over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Another thing Thing I absolutely love about BetterHelp is you can talk to your therapist in whatever way it makes you the most comfortable. You can text, call, video chat anytime. I know how hard it can be to open up to someone new and I think that's why BetterHelp is so amazing because offering all these different ways of communication really eases that stress and anxiety a lot of us get. You can also message your therapist at any time you need and you can also schedule live sessions at your convenience. Another thing I really, really appreciate with BetterHelp is if you're not vibing with your therapist, if you're not feeling a connection to them, 
Um, you're able to switch therapists at any time at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office sessions. With a therapist that is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and of course, affordable pricing. If you're interested in taking charge of your mental health, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Alexa Ray. That's betterhelp.com slash Alexa Ray. And I'll have it linked down below too. But thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's hop into it. Okay guys, we are gonna hop right into it and we're gonna slowly but surely make it through my physical TBR. I am, I don't even know where to start to be completely honest because I was kind of just pulling books off the shelves randomly. They're all kind of mixed together. This is gonna be interesting, but we'll start over here and we'll make our way over. <laughs> I'm really exposing myself in today's video. The first three books we have are the Ocean View books. These are random books that I bought off Amazon probably about a year ago and it's because I saw, this is going to be the reason for so many of these books. I saw one quote off of TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds like the best book ever. And what do I do? I went and bought the entire book series. Here we are, we have The X-Files, Walking Red Flag, and Bittersweet. They give off rom com vibes and I think they're kind of like rom com -y. I'm not entirely sure and I don't even remember the quote that made me want to buy these but I do want to read these I don't know when but I do sometime soon maybe in like the fall or winter next up I have a million kisses in your lifetime by Monica Murphy this may have been gifted to me a plus for this cover I love this and I love the font and I love the lipstick definitely a book I'll probably read in the fall just because it is like a school type of setting Next up, I have The Fear in the Lake by Natasha Preston. I believe she literally only writes like thriller books. These were gifted to me not too long ago and I'm hoping to read them in the month of October for spooky season. In October, I wanna do all spooky themed videos where I'm reading only thrillers and spooky type of books. We're gonna do a whole bunch of fall activities. I have a lot of thrillers saved up for October. Then we have Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. This is The Boys of Tommen, book one. I have heard non-stop good things about this and I really really want to read it because everyone raves about it This is so big like some chunky books. I honestly fly through but this just this is a little intimidating Hey, and I am not one to judge but I cannot be the only one who gets intimidated by Really really chunky books like this I'm thinking this is also going to be a fall type of read because again I think it takes place in like a school setting, but yeah the chunky books they scare me. They're a little spooky for me <laughs> Next up, we have The Edens by Devney Perry. I have Indigo Ridge, Garnet Flats, Jasper Vale, and Juniper Hill. I actually wound up getting these because someone was recommending them to me for the longest time, and they said that they give off very similar vibes to the Chestnut Spring series, which... If you know, you know I'm obsessed with that series. Honestly, makes me so happy just thinking about it. But these are supposed to give off very similar vibes to that. So that's why I got them. We have A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. This is actually a misprint. I don't know if that's like the right term or not. But when this book got printed, if you see, there's like a line going through all the words. So it starts at page 174 and then like the page before is like totally fine. And like all these pages are fine. I don't want to get rid of this book because I think it's a really pretty book but I might try and read this part and then once I get to 174 maybe I'll switch over to like my Kindle or something. So yeah I was really upset when I found that out. <laughs> we have Dark Succession by Katie Robert. This was gifted to me a little bit recently I think but it's giving spicy vibes. I have Fallen to Me by Mila Gray. This I don't know guys if I'm going to read this book or this series. I think this is like the third or fourth book in the series. I don't know what I was thinking when I got this. I don't know. I'm really torn. If you've read this book or any book out of this series, comment down below and let me know if you liked it. We have After by Anna Todd. This is another highly requested read on my channel. The After series. Oh gosh. Honestly, yeah, I definitely want to read this and I'm excited to read it. But at the same time, I'm very nervous because I know it's going to be cringy. 
Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. This just seems like a super cutie little fall read. I have How Sweet It Is by Dylan Newton. This book is very, very old. It was gifted to me. The Godparent Trap by Rachel Van Dyken. Another one that's a little bit older, but it was gifted to me and I do want to read it. I've talked about this very briefly on my channel before. I can't remember the exact movie, but there's a movie that I think is on Netflix right now that gives off the same exact vibes as this book and it's like a very similar storyline so I wonder if there's like any connection between the two or if like the movie was maybe based off this book or vice versa. I just thought it was really interesting and literally these two characters on the cover are exactly what the characters look like in the movie. Coincidence? I have X's and O's by Amy Lee. This cover is so cute. I really, really want to read this. I got gifted it this year around Valentine's Day, but I was reading so many other books at the time that I never got around to this. And I saw so many other people read it and literally say nothing but good things about it. So I'm hanging on to this one for next February and hopefully I love it just as much as everyone else. And then I have Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. This is so interesting to me because I have a lot of Lucy Score books and all her books kind of have a similar vibe and similar cover but this one is just totally different from all her other books I thought that was really interesting I have part of your world and yours truly I cannot wait to read these these are two other books that people have said nothing but good things about and I actually started yours truly I think a month or two ago and I got like three or four chapters in and then I stopped because I realized it was part of like the same universe as part of your world I picked up part of your world to read first First, and then once I'm done with this, I'll like hop back into here because I didn't want to spoil anything. I have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is like almost an OG book talk book, I feel like. So many people were raving about this. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Hong. This was gifted to me and I've heard nothing but good things. As Seen on TV by Meredith Score. This just looks absolutely adorable. It's supposed to give off all the Gilmore Girls vibes, so I definitely want to read this in the fall time. And then I have Pride and Premeditation. This is like a Pride and Prejudice reimagining, and I absolutely love this cover. Not gonna lie, I definitely picked it up at first because of its cover, but then when I saw it was like a Jane Austen murder mystery, I was like, okay, I have to see what this is all about. Once More with Feeling by Alyssa Sussman. I love her book covers. I think they're so fun and different. I've read her other book earlier this year and I liked it it just wasn't my favorite and I saw this one come out and it's supposed to be like the same idea I think but in the music world whereas the other book was in like the movie world I thought this would be really fun to try and as soon as I picked it up I saw so many people rate it really low so I've definitely kind of shied away from it because of that, but I do want to give it a try. I have the Beyond the Play series. Book one is First Down, book two is Breakaway, and book three is Stealing Home. These were actually gifted to me by Grace Riley, who is the author, and it was honestly so, so cool. I love that each one covers a different sport. Like, I know I'm gonna love all of these. I have The Birthday List and Coach by Devney Perry. These were gifted to me by Devney Perry. It's probably one of the coolest, coolest book mail packages I've ever opened because it came directly from her. I've heard incredible things about both of these so hopefully I'm able to get to them soon. I have Where I Belong and When I Fall by Jay Daniels. These were gifted to me by Jay Daniels. Another very exciting package to open. I love these covers. They give off very like summery vibes. Maybe I'll read them in August because they are small town trope and I love the small town trope in the summertime. I feel like it's like the best. I have Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. This was just a fun book I picked up at Barnes one day. It was part of the buy one, get one half off. And I usually am like obsessed with their characters and storylines. So I thought this would be a really fun one to try out. And it takes place in Hollywood, it takes place in like the movie scene. So I thought that'd be like super fun. I have Unfortunately Yours and Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. This has been so highly requested on my channel for the longest time. I got this last year. I'm honestly really nervous because I hear very mixed things about it. Some people love it, but some people say it's like the worst book ever. So yeah, and we're actually hitting like all of my summer books right now. I have Every Summer After Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I've heard amazing things about both these books. I have Good Girl Complex and Bad Girl Reputation by Elle Kennedy. I've heard really bad things about this series to be completely honest and I don't know. I'm very nervous to try them out, but at the same time, I really want to try them out 
12 because Al Kennedy also wrote the Off Campus series and that's one of my favorites. Like I love the Off Campus series so much so I'm very surprised that like her summer series has such negative ratings. Here we go. We have a conversation with friends, normal people, and beautiful world. Where are you? These are all by Sally Rooney. These are all books that I don't know if I'm going to read to be completely honest. I started Normal People and I could not get into the writing style. I don't know. I couldn't get into it. I was super disappointed and I wound up DNFing it. And since this book, I have yet to go in and read her other two books. So I don't really know if I'm going to read these. I may gift them to someone or donate them. Comment down below if you like Sally Rooney books or if you're kind of like me and you can't really get into them. I have Malibu Rising, After I Do, and One True Loves, all by Taylor Jenkins read. I really want to read Malibu Rising this summer because it takes place in the same universe as The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And then I have One Italian Summer by Rebecca Surley. I love the cover and I love the idea of like a summer story in Italy, but it kind of seems sad. So I haven't read it because I don't want to be sad. Start pulling from this side. As Old as Time by Liz Braswell. This is a twisted tale, and if you're not familiar with these, they're basically like Disney reimaginings, and I'm really big on the Beauty and the Beast. I have Never Never by Colleen Hoover. I don't know when I'm gonna read this. I haven't read a Colleen Hoover book in like the longest time. I have Shadow and Bone by Lee. Barduco. Oh, Winter's Promise. I picked this up last winter and I never read it. This spine is sun bleached. But yeah, I picked this up last winter. I never got around to it. I'm hoping for this winter. I have Wicked by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This I picked up a long, long time ago because of stuff. I have The Paper Princess by Erin Watt. An Offer from a Gentleman from the Bridgerton series. I haven't read this yet because I'm honestly waiting for the next season to come out. Daughter of the Pirate King. They just came out with a new like special edition at Barnes and it's so, so gorgeous. I gotta read this so soon because so many people say it's so good. I have A Thousand Heartbeats by Kiara Cass. I got this in the most beautiful PR package. I don't know how I got on that PR list for her books, but I am so thankful for it. And it's it literally just gives off like all of the vibes. Next up I have Forever Never and Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. Her books like I mentioned it earlier but they have very similar vibes. Maggie it moves on. It's just like a totally different vibe from like these ones. I have Hello Stranger and The Five Star Weekend. I really really want to read this in August because I want to read it before summer is up. I've heard nothing but incredible things. I have this really cool book I just got a few weeks ago in a PR package. It's called Sword Catchers by Cassandra Clay. How stunning is this? And this was like the little sleeve it came in. I have the Caraval trilogy. We have book one, which is Caraval, book two, which is legendary, and then book three, which is the finale. I recently read Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After. Absolutely love that series. I cannot wait for book three to come out this fall. But these books take place in the same universe, and you're supposed to read them like before those books. I have Things That We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. This is book two in the series. I just recently finished book one and I cannot wait for book two. I cannot wait for Nash's story and I cannot wait for Lucian's story later this year. Then I believe these are like holiday books. So I have Go Hex Yourself and The X Hex. These are both like spooky fall October reads. And then I have a few Christmas books. All I Want for Christmas, One Day in December, Window Shopping, My Night Before Christmas, and In the Holidays by Christina Lauren. These are all books I am hoping to read in like the month of December, but we'll see what happens because I had all these books last December and I didn't read one. I have The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing. These are all by Holly Black. Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. These covers are absolutely stunning. I've heard incredible things about them. Six of Crows and The Crooked Kingdom. I actually started Six of Crows and I don't know. I like couldn't really get into it. So I'm hoping to maybe go back later on and like try and get into it again because I've heard really good things about it. And then I have The Kingdom of the Wicked, Kingdom of the Feared, and Kingdom of the Cursed. I picked these up in a box set from Barnes 
and they are the most stunning covers. I'm obsessed with these. We have the Gold Rush series. Gold Ranch Rush? Rush Ranch? I don't know. This is another series by Elsie Silver though that I picked up immediately after reading the Chestnut Spring series because I just loved her writing style so much. I love her characters, her storyline. If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. This is supposed to be incredible but also really sad. We'll see when the day comes when I'm in the mood to read sad books and cry. <laughs> I have Kyland and Most of All of You by Mia Sheridan. She's also the author of Archer's Voice which is like one of my favorite books ever. Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. Definitely reading this in the fall. More sad books of course. But I have You've Reached Sam and Girl in Pieces. Fuel the Fire and Long Way Down. This is part of the Addicted and Callaway Sister series. We'll see what happens with those. Book 3, 4, and 5 of the Akatar series. We have A Court of Wings and Ruin, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and A Court of Silver Flames. Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. Hopeless is actually one of my favorite Coho books. This is like the second book after that. It's supposed to tell like the same story but from Dean's point of view. I also have Without Merit and Layla by her. These give off like spooky vibes but everyone says they're not spooky. In a Jam. I want to read this so so bad. I feel like everyone and their mother read this earlier this year and said it was like the most amazing small town read. When in Realm by Sarah Adams. Another book that so many people have rated five stars and raved about. The Third Basement by Lulu Moore. This is like a baseball romance and I've never read one of those so I'm very very excited about this. I got this in a PR package from Lulu Moore. From Lukov with the Love by Mariana Zapata. I also have The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. This is a football romance which is honestly this is gigantic. The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Another sad tearjerker so we'll see when we get to that. We are making our way. I have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This is definitely going on my fall TBR. Kiss the Sky and Hot House Flower. These are the first two books in the Callaway Sister series. I am so excited for these because I've heard nothing but incredible things about them. Then we have the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lar. I read book one in the beginning of this year. I think it was actually like my first book of 2023 and it was so so good. I love the whole storyline. These are the rest of the books in the series that I definitely want to tackle probably like in the winter time. We have Stolen Air, Savage Lover, Bloody Heart, Broken Bow, and Heavy Crown. The spines are absolutely stunning too. I'm like obsessed with all these covers. Something else I really really love about Sophie Lark books is she actually has like illustrations in her books of the characters and it's so cool. I love that. King of Pride by Anna Hong. This is book two in the Kings of Sin series. It came out like a few months ago. I've heard very mixed reviews on it so I have The Sweetest Oblivion, The Maddest Obsession, and The Darkest Temptation. These are all by Danielle Laurie and these are more books that I randomly saw a book quote on TikTok one day and I was like oh I'm gonna go order the whole series. So that's how I ended up with these books and I haven't read them just yet because they are on the darker side I feel like. We have three of the most beautiful covers I own. I'm so excited for these books. I have Daisy Hates, Daisy Hates and the Great Undoing and Magnolia Parks The Long Way Home. These are literally some of the prettiest covers I own. And then I have this little stack here. This is the rest of the Off Campus series as well as the Briar U series by Al Kennedy. I have so many of these books but it's because I loved book one so so much. I was like okay I have to go get all the other books by her. We have The Love Wager by Lynn painter. I think this is one of her newer releases and I've heard really really good things about this one. I have Travis and More Than Words. These are by Mia Sheridan. Travis is actually like the second book after Archer's Voice but I am so scared to read this book guys because Travis and Archer's Voice is literally like the most unlikable character I've ever read and now he has like a whole book. I have Loathe to Love You and Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. We Were Liars and Family of Liars. These were actually gifted to me and they are books that I hear very, very interesting things about. I have One of Us is Lying and One of Us is Next. These are actually like the majority of my thriller reads. I have The Twin. This is by Natasha Preston and I think it's actually a part of the same like universe or series that I showed you earlier of hers. And then we have these really creepy books that I honestly don't know if I'll read them because the covers are so creepy. But I have Fright Night, Room Service, and Escape Room. I don't think I'm going to read that. I'm going to be completely honest. These books look absolutely terrifying. This one doesn't look too bad, but 
I don't know. I have The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. I've heard such good things about this. I want to read this soon, to be honest. Like, I'll probably read this in September. I also have The Silent Patient. This is another, I feel like, book talk type of book. I've had it for a little bit over a year, and so many people say it's absolutely incredible. We have The Paris Apartment and Luckiest Girl Alive, which this is actually a Netflix movie now with Mila Kunis. I have Killjoy by Holly Jackson. This is actually a novella, part of the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. We have Five Survive, also by Holly Jackson. And then we have Good Girl, Bad Blood, and As Good as Dead. This is book two and book three in the series, and I have to finish it because, like, so much crazy stuff happens in these books. We are down to my last itty-bitty pile, my year of rest and relaxation. I feel like so many people have read this book, and they say it's so, so good. Charlie, Love, and Cliché, To Love Jason Thorne. These are all by Ella Mays, and they're absolutely stunning. I also have To Hate Adam Connor. I think her book spines are so pretty. Love in the Time of Serial Killers. This just seems so fun. I can't wait to read this. Tell Me Three Things. I honestly got this because it was $7. So I was like, $7? Last but not least, I have Say You Swear. This is by Megan Brandy and I've heard such good things about this. It's supposed to be like a football romance. Probably going to be on my fall TBR. And then I do have a couple book of the month books that are on my physical TBR, but I'm going to save you guys the time and the rambling. That was horrible. So don't forget to place your guesses down below. Let me know how many books you think are on my physical TBR. I'm so embarrassed. The total number of books that I have on my physical TBR is 162. 162 books I have on my physical TBR. That is, that's ridiculous. This is why I am officially on a book buying ban. I want to ask how did we get here? How did we get to this point? But I already know. It's because we go book shopping all the time on my channel. I obviously don't have any self-control. Do you guys think I could read all these books by the end of the year? Is that crazy? But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and going through every single book on my physical TBR. I am definitely overwhelmed. I feel like I have to get reading because if I ever want to step foot in a bookstore again, I have to at least knock off. I don't even know what a comfortable number would be for me to knock off in order to feel okay buying another book. <laughs> I want to say 100 books. Don't forget to comment down below how many books are on your physical TBR. Help a girl out. Make me feel better about my crazy, crazy TBR. I guess we have a ton of reading vlogs coming up on this channel. I need to knock out some of these books because this is crazy. And now I have to go and put all these books away, which I really don't want to do. There's so many books. I have to put 160 books away and organize them again. Please convince me to read these books. Convince me down below in the comments to read ones that you've read. I need the motivation and the push to actually read these. I'm gonna stop rambling though. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.